least the ninth biggest in Powerball history. Well, we started off this morning fairly chilly and we continue to stay in those 30s, but don't you worry because we are getting those strong south winds at 19 miles per hour right now and we will help and that's all is going to help us get back into those upper 50s seeing lots of commuters out and about right now. This is part of Wade's RV sunrise at 735 current con conditions right now 36 degrees for the most part. We're all going to be in those 30s right now feeling more like 25 with those wind chills. But the wind speeds is the main story for today. Those are just going to pick up very strongly out of the south, gusting anywhere between 35 to 40 miles per hour. Now, some schools do start off today, so make sure they grab that jacket on the way out the door because it's still going to be in those upper 30s, a low 40s, seeing those mostly clear skies. But the cloud coverage will increase slightly for us. But by the time you pick those kids up, it's going to be in those upper 50s. It's going to feel very nice for us. Still seeing those very strong conditions. And like I mentioned, these strong south winds are going to give us fire danger for the remainder of the afternoon. Again, most of the strong gust is going to come into our area later in the afternoon with that first cold front we are tracking. But we're also tracking another one on Wednesday into the overnight hours, early Thursday, bringing the possibility of seeing some wintry mix and for northeast counties here between the Kansas and Oklahoma border could even be seeing some light dusting and continuing to track those future wind chills is going to be quite chilly start for your Thursday morning. We're going to drop into those single digits and that's going to be the case throughout the remainder of your Thursday morning. Temperatures though not getting anywhere near the 30s. We do have 27, but could continue to drop for us with those lows back in those teens. But cold temperatures won't last too long because we will be back in those 50s, possibly even some 60s.